Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have just a super quick haul from Rainbow Melt. Um, I ended up ordering one of her coffee samplers forever ago. I've had this for a while now. And um, I do this every year. I always try to get her coffee samplers. Normally I buy two, um, but this year I just went with one. And she also had a cookie sampler available, which I was going to get, but it didn't seem like I was gonna like any of those scents. Like they kind of just seemed, you know, they were mixed with a lot of, you know, fruity scents. And I think like half of them I probably wouldn't have liked. So that's why I didn't grab that one. Um, but I did grab a coffee sampler. So um, I guess we will just get to it. She did send me a sample of um, lavender cashmere and lavender linen. Not really my favorite. Um, but I can pass them on to somebody else. Okay. So let's just get started. So this first one is Java Heaven. Black coffee, whipped cream, and cookie heaven. I really like her cookie heaven scent. This is really good. The black coffee is just amazing. Mixed with the cookie. Ugh. Then we have cowboy coffee, black coffee, campfire marshmallow. Now some of them are the same as last year, um, but a bunch of them aren't. <laughs> Love this one too. Coffee and campfire marshmallow, marshmallow fireside, roasted marshmallow. It's always a good time. Then we have Kick, which is strong black coffee, Palo Santo, and vanilla cream. I love coffee and Palo Santo. It's like one of my favorite masculine blends. Oh, it's so good. She had one like this last year, and I believe it was called, oh no, Java something, I think. And um, it was very similar to this. It smells amazing. I love it. Next we have OCD, which is um, espresso, caramel coffee, vanilla, hazelnut, and Starbucks. And I love this, and it's in a cute little cup. I love it. Love this one, too. This one is very strong on the coffee, and her caramel coffee is one of my favorites. Oh, my goodness. It's amazing. Like, we know how much I love caramel latte scents. She has a really good one. Um, Brady Making Scents has an amazing one. They just have such good coffees. Okay, then we have a hug from dad, espresso, caramel, tobacco, sweet and creamy. I love tobacco mixed with coffee. Oh, this one's really good. <clears throat> I think it's a little bit too heavy on the tobacco though. If it were me, I'd want it a little bit stronger on the espresso. Um, but I think actually this one mixed with the Palo Santo, oh, it's gonna be so good with the Palo Santo blend, I mean. Oh my goodness, that would be amazing. Next is Take a Break, which is espresso fresh baked blueberry muffins. So this one's really good, but I mostly just smell the blueberry. Yeah, I don't smell much coffee at all. And I remember I had the same problem last year. It was mostly just the blueberry, which I love her blueberry muffin oil. Don't get me wrong, it's fantastic. Um, but I'm actually kind of glad that it's this way because um, fruity mixed with coffee is just never my favorite. Um, there's one other one in here. It's the only one that I don't like. The blueberry one is fine. Here, I'll just show that one next. So this is the only one that I don't care for, which is Blackout, Strong Black Coffee, Blackberry Jam, Butter Cookies. This one is not my favorite. Um, now, I don't like Blackberry Jam, Butter Cookies to begin with, but I think just mixed with coffee, I don't know, fruity and coffee for me just don't go together. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you like it, that's fantastic, but for me, it's just a no-go. All right, next we have Coffee Market, Coffee and Sweet Bakery Cookies Cupcakes. This one's really good. So this one is definitely more heavy on the, like, the cupcakes, the cookies, the bakery scent. Definitely more heavier on that, but I do love it. I think it would be really good mixed with a couple of these, actually. You can mix that with pretty much anything. All right, next is first coffee starbucks coffee cinnamon toast crunch cereal i actually have a custom like this coming soon this one's pretty good i think it's actually to be totally honest with you i think it's a little bit light but it was also mixed in with a bunch of other ones and the pour date was the first and she definitely says allow two weeks um for me um if a vendor says two weeks i like to give it an extra week so um, I'm gonna wait a little bit longer on this one, but it does smell good, it's just light. All right, 
the last one is coffee bar which is espresso and butterscotch bourbon so this one's funny because I actually work at a coffee bar <laughs> so I thought that was cute oh my god I love this this one's one of my favorites by far Ooh. now I wasn't ever crazy on bourbon since but lately I've actually really been liking them they just mix with like really good stuff so I love the espresso with the butterscotch bourbon that one is one of my favorites um, I really like this one. I really like the OCD. I really like the Palo Santo one. All of these are really good. So that is it, actually. This was a very, very short video. I guess maybe I could have gone into a little bit more detail, but most of them are self-explanatory, and I know a lot of you that are here have tried many of these types of scents now, well, by now, so um, I don't know. I feel like I don't need to go into that much detail because most of you know exactly what I'm talking about. So with this camera, I have no idea why it's focusing on the background, the wax is the star of this show. Come on. I don't know what is wrong with it. I'm still learning <laughs> with this phone. Um, yeah, so I guess that's it. Wow, I've never done a video, I think, this short before. Well, I do have a few more hauls coming up, so this won't be the only video today. And I guess I'll see you in those ones. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are all staying safe and healthy, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye, guys.